Hi friends, it's Lindsay from The Craft Studio. I am so excited to be crafting with you. I wish I could be there in person, but this is the next best thing. And we are gonna do one of my favorite type of art techniques today. We are gonna do, drum roll, fluff painting. We're gonna make an incredible fluffy snowman painting on a canvas panel or whatever surface my lovely friends at the playroom, hey guys, have brought you. I am working on a panel of recycled cardboard that I painted white, which is really fun and cool. So guys, let's go over the materials you should have. You should have your panel that you're using as your base. You should have a paintbrush. You should have some shaving cream, fun, right? You should have some school glue. Mine is currently dumping onto my mixing plate because it's, you know, the end of the bottle where it gets gloopy at the bottom trying to get it all down. You should have some white paint. You should have some black construction paper, potentially some black buttons. If not, we can make them out of the construction paper. Potentially some brown twigs. If not, you can make them out of brown construction paper. Um, some orange foam or some orange construction paper and some red or green bits too. So, are you ready to rock? If you're ready to craft, let's show some craft fingers. Woo! I can't wait. So, one of my favorite movies ever, I don't know if you guys know it, it's a winter themed Disney movie. No, you've never heard of it? What? Just kidding, I know you know it, Frozen, right? Olaf, the snowman in that movie, he says one of my favorite lines in any movie ever. He says, some people are worth melting for when he's melting in order to save Anna. Love that line. And you all are worth melting for. So we're going to create a gloopy, fluffy, painted, melted snowman. And it's going to be so fun. So what we're going to do first, everybody, put on your science imaginary lab coat. I'm putting mine on and maybe put some science goggles on. I love being a scientist, and a lot of times art is science, and that's what we're gonna do now. So I've dumped some of my white school glue on my mixing plate, and I have about this much. Nice. And now, so fun, careful. You're gonna shake up your shaving cream, and you're gonna do about this much. Then you're gonna take your paintbrush. And I know our canvas is white, but this is gonna give it such a fun, like what's the fluff paint? Where's the snowman start? Where's it begin? Optical illusion of art, but we're gonna add some white paint. I like to say it's three equal parts, but it ends up looking like you have more shaving cream because it, fluff, it fluffs up. So this is what we got. Now, get ready scientists, we're gonna mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up. You can sing a mix song, whatever song you have. You can take a pause and do a mixing dance. Woo! Ooh, as I knocked my treasure chest over here. Okay, so we're gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And it starts to react together and create this amazing scientific fluff paint. Now you decide how melty you want your snowman to be. I would like mine to be pretty melty, I think. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my panel, I'm gonna switch a roux so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna start to scoop it on and I'm gonna kind of make what I would think would be maybe the snowman's head. I'm gonna start by doing it, applying it in a circle. And it's more like kind of padding instead of brush strokes because we wanna keep it fluffy and not make it too flat by like doing too many brush strokes. So it's kind of like scooping and padding and kind of just shifting it around. So I'm gonna start by making it kind of have a snowman shape of two circles. When I was a kid, I used to like to do three circles. I don't know what that would be. I don't know, I'm trying to think a head, a body, and maybe one was like to represent his, his legs and his feet. I don't know, I would love that. I come from Rochester, New York, where we get lots and lots of snow. They've already had snow. Okay, so I started by making one smaller ball on top of a bigger ball. And you guys might have to keep mixing up more paint as we go, you'll see. But this is what I have so far. 
And this is where I'm gonna get a little bit fun and creative. I'm gonna start to make him kind of sloppy, a sloppy snowman. I'm gonna pull down that first, or sorry, the bottom circle. I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna maybe make it go to the side a little. Maybe I'll get some more paint, glob it on. And I'm gonna make his head not so perfect. Perfect is boring anyways, right? I'm gonna kind of make his face go a little haywire. So I kind of have still the outline of a snowman, but he's kind of, he's kind of in rough shape, right? Awesome. So keep going with that. If you wanna get more paint, make it more fluffy to fill the space, you go to town. There's where mine is. And again, I love the white background because it's like, where's the snowman end? Where's it begin? Is it a blizzard? It's amazing and creative. And if at any point you guys wanna do something different than I do, there are no mistakes in art and perfect is boring. That's my favorite thing to say. So now I think my friends have given you a foam or a construction paper orange triangle. I am gonna cut one of the corners of mine off and then I have mine. And it, yours might be big, it might be small, whatever it is, you can trim it if you want. I am going to make mine maybe, I'm gonna maybe cut it so it's half the size like that. And so normally on a snowman's face, I'll probably be around you know, in the middle. I think I'm gonna have his kind of all the way down here as if it slid slowly. Okay, next, I'm gonna take my black. I love this. I'm gonna fold it in half. And now I'm gonna cut out some eyes. And also I don't have black buttons with me, so you can use your black buttons. Or if you don't have black buttons, if the playroom didn't pack them, you can cut more circles than just your two eyes to be buttons. So I'm cutting out half circles from my folded in half piece of paper. If you have foam, you can, you can just cut out a regular circle. You can fold the foam in half, whatever works for you. And I don't want mine to be perfectly the same shape because when I build a snowman, I use rocks for eyes. And I like when they're different sizes and shapes. Here we go, so my two eyes. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna cut out some three buttons. Some three buttons. <laughs> I'm gonna cut out three small buttons. Um, I always sing Frosty the Snowman when I forget the parts of a snowman. I'm like, Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn pop pipe, which we're not gonna put a pipe. A button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Oh yeah. So we replaced it with a carrot, right? Our nose. Okay. So I have my two big eyes, my three buttons, and then with the leftover black foam, I want to make a top hat. So what I'm going to do from one corner, I'm going to cut out a square. I love making art out of shapes. Then I'm also gonna, from another corner of my foam or construction paper, I'm gonna cut out a stretched out square. What's a stretch out square? What's four sides, but two are long and two are short? A rectangle. So together, we're making a top hat. And you might need to add a little bit more glue. What's cool is this is already glue, your fluff paint. So I'm just actually gonna dip my square in the fluff paint and I like if there's a little snow on the brim of my hat and attach it like that. And then I'm gonna make my snowman's hat, normally it'd be on, on top, but I'm making it way on the side like that because it's melty. And my eyes, this is gonna be funny, I think. I'm gonna have one all the way down here and I'm gonna have one still be back up there. Look at my melty snowman. And then let's add the buttons. I'm gonna have them really sliding down. One, two, three, all different spots. Looking good. Okay, maybe you got some brown sticks from the playroom or you have brown construction paper. If you have brown construction paper, I'm gonna have you cut two strips like this. Cool. And then I'm gonna have you cut two corners to be two triangles. And we're gonna make our arms 
by connecting the strips to the ends of the triangles. And we're gonna fringe the triangle by very carefully making a few cuts like so, and then folding them around like this. So when we cut, we don't want to make it so the triangle comes apart, but we're just doing a couple cuts to kind of fringe the one side to make it look like the end of a twig. Cool, huh? And then we're gonna take a little bit of glue from our snowman or from your sheet and attach it so it looks like an arm. Pretty cool, right? And I think I need to trim mine. I think my arms are a little long. But if you want long, long arms, go for it. And I'm gonna stick my arms way down in the bottom because look how funny. Oh my goodness, he's so melty. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. And then with your bits of red and green, you guys can get creative. I'm thinking of making my snowman have a heart and a scarf. So I have red. So to make my red, I'm gonna fold the end in half. My red heart, I mean. And on the half, I'm gonna cut out a half a heart because when I open it, it will be a full heart. And I'm gonna have my heart be all the way underneath here. Look at my guy. And then to make the scarf, I love this. I'm gonna make one long, about a half an inch thick from my scraps of red paper or foam, whatever you guys have. And then I'm gonna fringe each end with little fringe, like the end of a scarf. Like that. And then I'm kinda gonna like fold it in half. And then I'm gonna bend my fringes in all different directions so it looks like a scarf that's really blowing in the wind. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna stick it on. And I'm gonna stick it on as if it really melted even past the buttons. Maybe I'll move this button around. I'm looking at it in the, in the camera, which is funny. Anyway, here's my melty, fluffy, goopy snowman painting. I love him so much. And in the words of Olaf again, some people are worth melting for. Show me a picture of your artwork by showing it to your friends at the playroom. I can't wait to see it. I'm so happy to have brought a little magic to you guys. I love crafting and I hope you guys have so much fun with this project. Thanks all to my friends all in the playroom for letting me bring this to you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and a beautiful season. Bye guys.